Welcome to the first video in our machine design series. Whether you're a student, an engineer, or just someone interested in how machines come together, this series is here to break it all down. We are going to cover the fundamental principles of machine design using practical examples, engineering analysis, and insights from industry best practices. So let's get into it. First, let's define exactly what we mean by machine design. And we need to do that in the engineering context. So a machine is defined as a system of components designed to perform work. It can be as simple as a lever or as complex as a jet engine, but the key idea is that a machine consists of multiple components working together to achieve a specific function. Now design is to formulate a plan for the satisfaction of a specified need. It is a decision-making process. It's not the same as inventing a device because it's not just about making something work. It's about making it work efficiently, reliably, and within given constraints. So when we talk about machine design, we're referring to the structured approach that engineers use to develop and refine mechanical systems that perform specific tasks. It's a blend of physics, material science, and creativity. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty in this course, let's talk a little bit about the logistics. We will be following the framework laid out in Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design. This textbook is a cornerstone of machine design education because it not only provides the theory, but also practical methodologies that engineers use every day. If you have access to this book, I highly recommend using it as a reference throughout this series. This, of all the textbooks that I have ever purchased, is the one that stays on my desk almost always. Now, to get the most out of this course, it's also important to have a solid foundation and a few prerequisite subjects. And I like to use the metaphor of a tree to talk about this that I've poorly drawn here. Um, now, the metaphor goes something like this. Our roots are physics and math. This is the foundation upon which everything is built. These are subjects like algebra, trig, calculus, and this is gonna be our um, foundation. So next comes the trunk of our tree, and that's statics. This is the gateway to mechanics, and it is our core structural knowledge that is supporting everything else above it. Next, we have our three branches of mechanics, and those are classes like dynamics, strength of materials, or mechanics of materials, and fluids, um, or fluid mechanics. And then at the very top of this tree is machine design. So machine design applications are the individual leaves of this tree, and they draw support from everything below. So you're Leaves can only flourish if the branches, the trunk, and the roots are all healthy. Now, with that metaphor in mind, if you're feeling unsure about any of these foundational concepts, it is definitely worth reviewing those before diving too deep into this course. Um, although the beauty of YouTube is that you can pause these videos at any point when you hear something confusing and find it in your physics or math textbook and uh, review that before continuing. All right, with that, I just want to thank you for watching. This is the end of this first video. In the next one, we'll dive into the engineering design process. So talk about how we take an idea from a concept to a fully functioning machine. And if you're ready to start thinking like a machine designer, stick with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep learning, and I will see you in the next one.